Hello, how you doing guys? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to move WhatsApp from an Android device to an iPhone. I'm going to use a software called Dr. Phone. It's a very popular software that will allow you to do this. Go to Toolbox, and from here you're going to select WhatsApp Transfer, okay? We're going to select regular WhatsApp. You can also do WhatsApp Business, Line, Viber, Kick, WeChat, but we're going to select regular WhatsApp. It says transfer WhatsApp messages, backup or restore. Now we're going to do transfer WhatsApp messages. And now we have the source and the destination. Let's connect the source first. The source is the Samsung Galaxy S22. Let's connect it here to see what happened. That's the source. I need to go to about the phone, software information, build number. I need to tap it seven times. And then on developer options, I need to enable USB debugging. So let's do that really quick. About the phone. You're going to go here. About the phone. And then software information. And here on build number, tap seven times. Developer mode has been turned on. So you need to go to settings. And here, look for developer mode. We enable this option, developer options. Click there and select USB debugging. USB debugging, click there. Allow USB debugging, okay. Allow USB debugging, always allow from this computer and allow. And look at this, now it says connected. Samsung Galaxy S22, this is the model, right? Connected, so this is good. Now let's connect the iPhone. I'm using an iPhone 11. I don't have WhatsApp here. Some people might have WhatsApp already installed here. I recommend you to do a copy, a backup of your WhatsApp if you have it already, because you might lose it. That goal is to move WhatsApp that is on the Android to the iPhone, okay? So connect the iPhone to the computer. Trust this computer, trust. And it's connected now. It's an iPhone 11 and it's connected. Okay, now that I have both phones, you need to make sure, what do you want to do? My WhatsApp is on the Android, and I want to move it on the iPhone, okay? So my source is going to be the Samsung, the destination, the iPhone. So let's click transfer. Let's see what happened. Please confirm whether to keep the existing WhatsApp data on iPhone. I don't have WhatsApp on the iPhone. If you have it, click yes. I don't have it. I'm going to select no. Next. No WhatsApp is detected on the device. Please install WhatsApp first. You're going to go to the App Store, and you're going to search for what's up right and download it okay we're gonna open it just to make sure that we have it and that's it welcome to whatsapp all right that's what's up now we're gonna click i have installed whatsapp turn on end-to-end -end encryption on your samsung device i do not have it encrypted so we're gonna click the three dots settings chats chat backup and here guys we're gonna turn on end-to-end -end encrypted backup Protect your backup with the end-to-end -end encryption. Turn on. Generate your 64-digit encryption key. Okay, but this time I'm going to use the 64-digit encryption key. Generate your 64-digit key. The software asks me to stay on this screen and then click scan. So that's what I'm going to do. Scan. When the encryption process is completed, please create your end-to-end -end encrypted backup. I'm going to back it up, of course. Did you save it? Yes. Ah, okay, created. Now it's creating the backup with the 64 encryption method. My backup is only 67 megabytes. I'm sure yours is going to be gigs of data, so be patient. I just finished at 1246 doing my backup, end-to-end -end encrypted backup, okay? So it's done. Please create your end-to-end -end encrypted backup and then click next, okay? Now it's restoring your Apple iPhone 11. Please log in with any WhatsApp account on the target device first. Otherwise the restore data on the phone will be empty. Okay, so you need to log in to this device. How can we do that? We're gonna click WhatsApp, agree and continue. And this number is gonna be that number, right? 954, 444, 74, Nine, three. Now, very important, I have my SIM card here, so any code, I should get it on the Android, okay? Click next, make sure the phone is correct, and that's the code, 776-335. You have been logged out of the WhatsApp on the Android. And then I'm gonna click skip restore. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna click on login successfully. Ah, okay, and it says, please turn off find my iPhone. 
So I'm just gonna um, go here, settings on the Apple ID is here, find mine. They want me to turn it off. So find my iPhone is on, I'm gonna turn it off. It's gonna, of course, ask me for my password. Turn it off, turn it off, find my iPhone. It's still stuck at turn off, find my iPhone. In order to have this, you need to have location turn on. So let me do that. Privacy and security, location services on. Okay, now that it's on, I can go ahead and turn my, find my iPhone right here. Find mine. Oh, it's already off. Find my iPhone is off. Okay, perfect. So this is done. Now I'm gonna click try again. Now, is, is this phone correct? Yes. I'm gonna get a code here. 550766. Alex. Done. Make your next login easier. Not now. And here it is, guys. We have everything here, but we don't have the contacts. In order to get the contacts, you need to log in to your whatever email you were using on the Android. You need to log in here. So how are you going to do that? Oh, here. And I'm going to click Google. I think I use Suamigo Alex 2. Now I'm logging to my email account. So now this should change though. Yeah, right there, it's changing now. This is the other thing though. I want to see my chats, for example, this chat and make sure that I have everything. Yeah, I have that. Messages, emojis, memojis, file types, you know, PDF accounts. And I have all my videos here. They're playing, so they transfer correctly. Yeah, so I consider this a success, guys. It was successful. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chats and chat backup. Backup now. Okay, now it's loading the other names that they didn't load before. And let me see my backup. Chats, chat backup, include videos, auto backup, daily, end to end encrypted backup off, backup now. It's doing the backup. It's going to take a while, so I'll be back. So finally, we just finished the backup. So now we have our WhatsApp backup on iCloud and also on Android. So we can switch devices. We can switch operating systems. No problem at all. On the Android, I being logged out. I can log in again if I want to, but the whole thing about this video, it was how to transfer your WhatsApp from an Android to an iPhone, right? And it was successful. It took us a while and there's steps that you need to follow, but uh, it worked. I'm going to put all the information about this software on the description if you want to check it out. It's not free. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I was able to move my WhatsApp from the Android to the iPhone. The name of the software is called Dr. Phone. The company is called Wondershare. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it and I'll see you on my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.